Hello everyone, I'm Brian Newdorf. I'm one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service office in Louisville, Kentucky. When we have a big weather event, be it severe weather or even winter storms like we have coming up at the end of the weekend and early next week, it's without a doubt one of the more popular questions we get whether somebody calls us or hits us up on social media. It's usually along the lines of when will this hit my town? When will this make its way into my community? When will it start? And then what can I expect? How much snow? How much ice? How bad will it be? And while we have no problem answering these questions, in fact, we really enjoy doing it, um, sometimes, especially when it's a big event and we have 59 counties between Southern Indiana and Central Kentucky, you can imagine that's a, that's a lot of questions. And when we start getting busy, it's just really hard for us to answer those back in a very timely manner. So we thought we would put together a little video to help you find that information. And, and that information's actually out there on the internet. It's right at the end of your fingertips. So here are a couple of websites that will help you get those informations to answer when and how much and maybe possibly the impacts on what it could mean for you and your community. One of the first sites I want to show you is uh, this website. Uh, it's a site that we use for some of our partners when we're either helping them out with Derby or other events. It's uh, Decision IDSS Forecast Points. Uh, Decision Support Services is what the DSS stands for. And it defaults at Duluth. So you have a couple of options. Uh, you could go on this map right here and you could uh, find your location. Or let's just say uh, we can go up there to the top and we'll just type in Louisville, Kentucky. There it is. We can just highlight it. There it goes. It finds it on the map. And then what we do now is we can just scroll down. Now, one of the things that catches your head is uh, your eyes is that big red box there, that kind of red banner that says Winter Storm Watch. And you can see here, this was updated just about uh, 111 minutes, but the nice thing is it will tell you when this forecast was last updated when you look there. You've got a couple of links here. We'll talk about this text forecast one in just a bit, but the very top line, you can see the week broken down, your highs, your lows, the winds, the probability of, or the chances of seeing rain, and you can definitely see Sunday and Monday, we've got a 100% chance that is that big winter storm. But usually a lot of you want to know when, like what hour, what time. I've got plans. So what you need to do is just scroll down to where it says hourly table. You can slide this over to the right and look into the future, and you can see here clearly right about 7 a.m., which is what we're thinking, this is when we will start to see our first round of precipitation start to work its way in here. And you can see it's mainly in the form of snow. But as you look here a little bit closer, you can see um, we have our snow, but then ice. So you can start to see as we go into the afternoon, uh, we start to see snow and ice potential uh, coming into play. Well, let's scroll down. Uh, and you can see a lot of the questions are, you know, how much are we going to see? What's going to work its way in here? There's your precipitation. So let's say you just want to see it broken down by a couple of windows or hours. You can see it here. These are like six hour windows. You can see it ramps up snow wise and then diminishes and then the ice picks up. But if you wanted to know total for your location, now as of the latest forecast, we will see in Louisville, this is as of Friday evening at around eight o'clock in the evening, we have about uh, seven inches of snow possible for Louisville and uh, about uh, almost a quarter of an inch of ice. That's what the data coming from our system is telling. And that's what you would see here if you went and checked it out. Now, keep in mind with a storm like this and pretty much any big event, several or a couple of days out, these numbers are likely going to change. But again, you get the idea. You can navigate your way to this website, weather.gov slash forecast points, and you can get all the information you're quite looking for from winds to temperatures to these hour by hour forecasts to even your weekly forecast. Now, the other thing we can do if you don't like that site and you just already go to the Weather Service website, here we are. This is our National Weather Service Louisville page. It's weather.gov slash Louisville. Uh, and you can do the same thing. You can come over here and you can kind of click someplace on the map. Uh, say if we wanted to click on uh, E-Town, we can do that. Or we could type in our zip code uh, right there. And you can see you get current information. You get a detailed forecast, both in icons and in text. Uh, if you want your specific neighborhood, you could you know zoom in and move the map and, and push that around. But if you want that hour by hour, you've got a couple of options. You've got this hourly weather forecast, which is in graph form, or the tabular. I tend to like the tabular. And then you scroll down here and you can see everything is listed. Uh, there's your hours. There's your day. So if I want to go to Sunday, I can click on that. There's a drop down box. Sadly, we can't see it on the screen, but there is a drop down box. I'm going to take it to about 5 a.m. Uh, on Sunday. I hit submit. 
And then I look down here and there we go. Now you can see starting at about potentially five, maybe even 7 a.m. Now you start to see the snow, the freezing rain. Uh, you've got chances as well with those precipitation. You can see how it's going to play out. You can also see the temperatures. So this is, are just a couple of ways that you can use uh, weather.gov and the, the resources there to answer that very popular question. When is it going to hit my house, my town, my neighborhood, and how long and what kind of impacts? Freezing rain and, and through the other site, you can see just how much total snow, potentially total ice and rain you could possibly see. So I hope that was very helpful. Thanks for checking out our videos. And if you've got any more questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to us here at the National Weather Service office. Good luck, stay safe, and have yourself a great day.